hey students, let's do a little tutorial on how to do this DNA to proteins lab. So um, what you're going to do is you're going to click on uh, this link at the bottom. It'll take you to a website. Now this website will take a minute to load usually. Um, so just be patient. Uh, it, it usually takes my computer about 10 seconds to load if I haven't loaded it in it uh, for the first time. After that, uh, if you reload it, it should happen rather quickly. <clears throat> All right, so what you're going to do is read through this stuff. It's going to tell you a little bit about the fact that you're going to be looking at a kind of interactive 3D model of DNA and RNA, okay? And so uh, it estimates about 20 minutes of time. You can see all the things that you're going to learn. Um, and so you're going to get at each of the stages uh, some information about uh, uh, translation, translation, uh, I'm sorry, transcription and translation. Um, and then as you go, you'll have to answer questions about it, okay? Um, so you'll be looking at little molecules like this. And um, I actually don't like these very first ones here because they're a little bit confusing. Um, so you see these A, T, G, and C. The A is this part right there. Uh, the T is this part right here. The G is actually this part that's guanine. And this is cytosine. Um, then the extra stuff over on the side, this little leg over here, is a phosphorus and sugar that are also linked to these. But this part is the same as this, is the same as this, is the same as this. The only thing that's different about these molecules are the ones on the left, the, the portion that's on the left. And you can see that guanine and adenine look similar and thymine and cytosine look similar. There's some differences between the two. Uh, but just a little heads up on that. All right, so when you answer questions, um, so for example, well, I can do one with you. Um, it'll, it'll often have you take these snapshots and I find it useful in these situations to have a Word document open, uh, just in case I need to paste information in. So I open up a Word document um, to the side, and I can paste, copy and paste things. If by some chance your snapshot isn't working, I will include below this video um, some tools you can use that should be on any computer, a, a PC, a Mac, or a Chromebook, that you should be able to uh, take a screenshot and then paste it into a document, <clears throat> copy and paste it into a document. So I will include those instructions below in case you have those issues. Um, okay. So, all right. So question one here simply says, take a snapshot that you think best illustrates the bonds that hold two strands of DNA together in a double helix. And so what does that mean? Well, this is what we're talking about over here. We've got this little thing here. We've got a DNA molecule, and we want to look at what's holding the two strands of a double helix together. And so I've got to mess with this image in a way that I can see the bonds between them. And so I can, you know, click on different things down here and it causes things to change. Um, I can also add and drop. So this is one strand. There's the other. Here's another strand. Okay. So I can do that, play with those. I can also look at, you know, chains. I can look at the nucleotides. So the A's, C's, and T's are illustrated here. Um, and I can recenter the whole thing. I can also move things around by just clicking on my screen, screen with my mouse. So what I'm doing is I've got my left click button down on my mouse, and I'm just rotating a little bit. Now, if I wanted to zoom in, I could click my shift button, and uh, my little roller on my mouse will go in and out. If you happen to have a touch screen, on your computer, you can you can pinch zoom in and out as well. 
Now, th this question asks us to make sure we see the chemical bonds real well, okay? Well, I don't like all these colors because they make it a little confusing. So I'm gonna go back to seeing the two strands. So we've got the two strands of the DNA uh, highlighted by clicking on the chains. And I've got uh, the hydrogen bonds, the strand one and strand two all highlighted. And what if I get rid of that hydrogen bond? Uh-oh, if you look closely, they're no longer connected. The two strands are no longer connected. And since the question is asking us to illustrate bonds that hold the two strands together, I want those there, all right? And then what I can do is uh, um, take the snapshot and it is, please wait while the snapshot is being taken, okay? And it, it makes a snapshot for me, okay? Um, I can, uh, you know, write on it, do whatever I want. I've taken this snapshot. I think Bill, best illustrates the strands together, okay? Um, so I can hit done. Now it'll save this for you. If it doesn't save it for you, what you can do, again, um, use one of the options I have below and then paste. You'll be able to paste a picture over into a Word document, okay? Um, and so that, that is an option. We've got a second question here. You'd answer that question and then move on. Again, you're going to get different questions as you read through all of this stuff. In some cases, you'll be able to check your answers, okay? Others will copy and paste it, okay? So I'm just going to jump through. So you're just answering questions as you go. Again, if for some reason um, you're having problems with these buttons that are on here, just copy and paste it over into a Word document, and then you'd be able to submit it then. When you get to the end, okay, so you've done all of this stuff, okay, it will show you your answers to all of that, all of the information over here. You'll click show my work. I haven't done, done these uh, on this attempt. So I've got all of that information right here, right? Okay. And then, so you filled in all that information, filled it all in. Then what you can do is print it out, at, or you can uh, hit the um, print button on your machine, okay? And instead of printing it out, um, what you're going to do is print it as a PDF, okay? Save as a PDF, and when you do that, then it'll save it as a file, and you can upload that file as your turned in document. Now, if you had it a copy and paste everything over into a Word document, obviously, that's what you would submit to me. I hope that's helpful as a tutorial and I'll see you later.